You look younger. What happened? It's COVID. Uh, less, less stress. <laughs> uh -huh, nice. It's the rejuvenation by COVID. <laughs> Awesome. All right. So um, I want to have this call primarily for, for you, Anton, to give uh, kind of the tech overview of the, the current AI uh, power literature review scope of things. And I know that we have many moving pieces and Manuel can definitely help us streamline the pipeline mm -hmm. and um, he's back. That's <laughs> the most exciting yeah. part of the call. Uh, we we stopped here. Yeah. Manuel, we we cannot hear you again. Manuel, yeah. No. Uh, oh. Oh no! Yeah. No, it disappeared again. <laughs> it's definitely the deck. Yeah, something. Stupid wires, broken breaking in in the worst possible moment. No sound. No. Let me try without headphones. No, still not happening. No sound. <laughs> there should be a better way than just ways. Audio waves. Uh, oh, now there was something. Yeah. Yes. Oh, now you can. Okay, cool. This is that. Uh, I need to get new headphones. The jack. <laughs> because on, the, the thing is, on my mobile they work, but on the computer they do. Mm. Okay, so uh, we were talking about the the pipeline and the yeah the review sure. system. I, I check what I got on the document that, that Arthur gives to me and also on the GitHub repos, just checking. Mm -hmm. We lost you again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to join from phone or something? Sounds, the sound is here again. Okay. We heard uh, you saying something about GitHub and then you cut off. Okay, yes. so I was saying that I, I, I put, uh, I check a little on GitHub and on the document that Arthur gave me to more or less I'm trying to be, to be up to date. But I think that will be better if you explain me more or less what you need me to, to do. Because there are a lot of things like open right now. <laughs> Yeah, there are plenty of things open right now. So I guess the main focus is to not to, so since Corona Y is like, we tend to to launch multiple things all the same one, right? It's hard to navigate and be uh, hyper-focused. And like, I mean, you should put special effort to, to, to stay on focus. So here, uh, I guess our goal is to, to focus on one specific project with a team literature review, which is in a sense, our attempt to consolidate those times during like initial Kaggle competition into one kind of like this hollow project that kind of takes all of the, the pieces from the teams 
and we, we're trying to create a project uh, like a, a functioning product out of it so in this direction uh, have you seen uh, our notion page for it uh, I no. stopped reading it but uh, they asked me to log in and then they didn't allow me to get in again I need to ask okay. permission uh, but I, I read most of it about the process and the yeah, so I just send you on Slack the, the link to essentially this is a top level page. Again, Notion is just like a system on top of markup files, etc. So consider this as just like a bunch of markup files all together and we can collaborate to work, work with them. Uh, and if you go into fully to review pipeline, what we have right now, we have a few people who, who spend the time, again, essentially consolidating all of what was done before from different teams and trying to, instead of having what we, uh, so Coronaway is still at the stage of working as a bob matic So it's automated by, by bobs, right? For any piece to, to happen, we like, there is a person that needs to go and trigger, for example, a Kaggle kernel to update with a new data set. Or again, we just need to go log in into VM uh, via SSH and, you know, like run the script again for your data to generate it, etc. So nothing changed that much from that perspective, right? It just, everything is more structured, more robust, like systems are in place, better scripts, etc. But there is still a really long way to go. So, uh, like we learned the hard way, right? That uh, like our community, we're not software developers mostly. So the best thing to, that works is simply uh, for, for individual member contributor is just to grab Google Collab or something, ask, so where do I get the data in? And, oh, we have a date, by the way, Dataverse right now has some, some issues, but soon it will be back to up and running and in a better shape in terms of reliability. But we got to this point that at least in terms of data, we had that uh, system that the person asked us, so where do I get the data? And you point them in, okay, this is where you download the data. They, the, the contributor goes there, creates a Python notebook using Google Collab, yada, yada, then exports the data back to Dataverse and, and it's done with it. So now on top of this system, we essentially have Notion and people who are like, oh, so we have a bunch of Google Collab or something. First of all, Google Collab, we can put all on GitHub and then link it somewhere. And this is why we use Notion as, as this tool. So if you go into full literature review pipeline, you'll kind of see that we, we again, we identified this like four stages. <laughs> that pre-processing of, of uh, embeddings on top of Core 19, then we're trying to accumulate what the knowledge we got from like different teams. Oh, we're argument with altmetric scores, great, etc. But this knowledge aggregation at this point in time is still in the phase of we simply aggregating. But the next step would be to kind of like, oh, but do we care about altmetrics regarding the literature review tool? Right? And for altmetric scores, which are just simply like, okay, how popular or what is the response on social media for a particular paper, probably relevant, so it should stay. But something else like, oh, is, is task risk pipeline relevant to it or not? Something is yes, something is not, but you know, that process should happen. And then uh, this was like stage two, it was essentially teams. Stage three was the stage of uh, our data visualization team. And in particular, Mike Honey, essentially how he got all of the necessary data in for his Power BI uh, widget uh, magic. And then stage four is, is his Power BI widget that we host currently as our demo for, for this team literature review. So again, as, as you could see, as you could tell, where it's still like essentially like alpha type of stage, but we want to get to beta release, which means hold like, Right now we have a totally like pure data, essentially data science solution. We got the data in, collected it somehow, and now we have uh, like a huge dashboard that we throw everything on top of it, right? But the next step, the way I see it is, first of all, 
uh, after this process of uh, collecting the data, filtering out necessary and necessary bits, we're essentially getting ready for proper product development. We already have UX UI team working on like, you know, essentially not a dashboard, but the actual product that creates functionality and like all of those, you know, wireframes, specs, etc. from the user perspective. And now for that, we use this demo simply again, this is all the data available in the different formats. But now what, like the way I see it, what will happen is here is UX UI, we will need to power it with this data streams. And now we have all of this bobomatic pipelines that already all in one place, but now everything should be put into more robust, uh, essentially like small, some small pieces, like as I said, Google collapse, but some of them are already like, uh, at least it's in a form that you can dockerize it and run it on scale. So for example, pre-processing step like stage one, uh, that code was initially, Brandon did like this huge pre-processing using sky spacing models, etc. Then we had team search engine and Lukash. So Lukash and his team were working on this and they created kind of like this parallelized, more, more robust pipeline, essentially reworked, so version two. But then after that, uh, what I did is kind of like simplified it even more because my goal was just simply, we need to, uh quickly run it in in parallel but parallelization happens not on the level of like python libraries but actually on docker containers so i simplified that kind of get all of the code dependency for parallelization just created a simple container that takes specific portion of, of data in and spits out and then i was able like to run it on a really like again it was horizontal scaling, but in the limits of vertical scaling. So I took the whatever the largest instance on AWS that was uh, like we had quote for, and just a run and I was able like, to use like 21 containers in parallel because they all demand lots of RAM. But anyways, that's kind of like uh, how I see in terms of like which areas we could simplify. So where this complexity of robustness should happen, and I think in terms of software, we should go pursue as simple as things as possible. All of the complexity yeah, is pushed into like containers and, uh, you know, either Kubeflow or, or simply running Docker containers on one big instance, you know, temporarily and things like that. So in terms of which help and areas I see you helping out, it's, it's kind of like, okay, we need somebody with really robust culture for software development, but who already learned the hard way that, you know, it's, it's not about like that, that overhead, right? But, you know, it, it's about just simply adding enough like this proper software engineering practices, but not overwhelm somebody because essentially that person knows that there'll be only like him, her, or maybe a couple of other people who, who will be able to maintain that type of overhead. But everybody else are just simply this, oh, here's my Google collab of, of this, you know, piece. And then a strike team essentially thinks through like, okay, it's not about getting like 10 pull requests a day from all of the people who have no idea what they're doing. They don't know the styling, et cetera. It's just simply Google collab is enough. We just need input output from you and then we'll deal with the rest. And then we package that small piece as maybe deliverable to some other volunteer Etc. Or if it's quick enough, you do it yourself quickly, you know, you deploy it, boom, and it's done. The moment it's containerized, we kind of freeze it, we we'll forget about it, where well, it still works. Uh, yeah, so that, that's how I see it. Yeah, Manuel, we can't hear you again. Uh, now oh. you can hear me? Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, what, what you told me about the uh, tempo request per day, that gives me like, oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, that, that sounds uh, doable. And in fact, uh, I'm not, I mean, I, I try to make uh, like a strong software development culture on Task Geo, but because most of the, of the people have no idea what they were doing. So if there was not this culture, all this chaos uh, fall uh, on me. I mean, if it's for somewhere else, then it's their problem. 
not 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 really thinking like it, but uh, uh, it was this way. But I know that if we are working more on a data science level, uh, that usually people don't want to spend its time on software development issues like the horizon. That's okay. You know, this is one of our big realizations, uh, you know, as a part of learning in Corona Y, that we actually shouldn't force data scientists to become, you know, actual in engineers. And this is... Yeah, a, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so th this is a part of uh, kind of realization that we're also trying to streamline right now. And um, we it would be great if we would take all the things that we have kind of scattered across in uh, team literature review NLP and kind of have you observe how to connect them properly. And maybe you ha you'll have some ideas. Um, yeah, not, not sure what's the best uh, way to approach this, but just streamlining and connecting pieces to pieces so that it flows uh, as an actual pipeline that's the yeah. idea. So essentially, right, Arthur nail it on the head. So the like, we want again, you use you as a resource again, not just to just kind of like, oh, manual is actually good at coding and kind of packaging and Python packages, etc. No, it's mostly kind of utilize you your like your most impactful skills, which are again kind of architectural, more of a level in terms of this Python level of code, etc. How to make that like as robust as possible, then we have other people who can, again, on a Docker level, like a con containers level to, you know, run all of that in a really robust manner. And on the low level, again, we have plenty of people who are still willing to kind of jump and contribute, etc. So our goal is essentially to have this different layer of different people. And, and if you will, is to have the strike teams. Oh, like, for example, like a person creates some piece of code and then that person who actually wants to uh, learn the whole end-to-end -end pipeline how it got utilized but this is where we would like to have this infrastructure of people that essentially well could help that person to oh so you want to make a piece of code more robust this is where you get like this is the time for that person to start reading about proper contribution of code what was done for this girl uh, like a uh, repo, right? Mm -hmm. Not before it, when the person just simply, oh, let me just grab collab and let me grab the data, I'll do something, right? No, no, it's after they do this, they, they already have a proof of concept, they have something that works. And this is where they come and kind of like, oh, so Manuel is the right guy to help me out, learn my skills. And then you simply could, well, I mean, maybe here will be some hand holding for people, etc. but otherwise it's about just, okay, here is you point them out into read the manual right this is the time to read the fucking manual and now they will read and then they start like learning how to do it properly and only when those types are covered this is where you can they ping you type, like kind of like oh you know like I've, I've, I've troubles like packaging as a python code or something and this is where you experience because this time you will spend like five minutes versus like 30 minutes back and forth, like, dude, you need to run lint or like the code is not, in, et cetera. So that, that's how I see it. So your impact, it will be amplified by the infrastructure and that you not get stuck into, you know, being like all the things all at once and become this essentially sinkhole for, for the process. Yeah. You should be on top of the pyramid of this. That's kind of like, I would love to see it, you know, acting that way more. And that sounds quite good to me. Uh, and well, may I ask you how can we get started? Yeah, yeah so, so that's a tricky part because I feel like if we don't actually have a very like actionable task, nothing will happen, you know, as, as it usually uh, happens. So maybe let's take the very beginning of the court processing pipeline and introduce manual in, into that. Anton, what do you think? Yeah, so we could, again, go from this. So uh, let me kind of, again, just before we jump into this, in terms of like uh, the way I see, like in terms of people who will probably kind of be part of this initially and like to, to get all of this uh, like momentum going. So currently what we have, we have Alex Lovgan with this motivation and essentially goal 
to, to build this end-to-end -end pipeline. And again, he's not exactly like a data scientist. He's not exactly a software engineer, right? He, but this is what he is striving to learn right now. This is essentially his goal. And if, if you go stage two, uh, coronavirus task ties this like a uh, notion document. This is what he is assembling everything. And yesterday he messaged me like, oh, he, like, he told me like, I just realized that what we did with in, in task ties with Christine is we will never use sky spacing models. We were using the embeddings, the specter embeddings that AI element Institute of AI provided, right? But our oh, wow. goal is to That's use a big learning. <laughs> the, like, for, for me as well, I was kind of like, oh, the, the whole system works. That somebody else went in a deep end, figure all of this out, and then get back all the way up, right? So it all works. But anyway, so Alex right now essentially has this goal of, of building all of this. And he has experience of working with other volunteers as well. He just right now, at, like, we're at this point in time where it's like one person essentially trying to grasp all of this. So now I think it's a perfect opportunity to jump in and kind of amplify his efforts with what we just described. Like, okay, Alex, you do the, the hardest part of the job and now we're amplifying you with essentially this resource that now, first of all, our infrastructure was always ready, but the middle layer of software, we, we never had the right people over here, but now we have it. So uh, essentially the idea is like this. Alex is essentially leads the team of data scientists who will be essentially working on a, what's called like face engine. And it, it is essentially a specific thing. They know that they would like to try all of these different embeddings, do something with them, speed them out. But uh, the, like for us, the moment, what momentum we should build over here in context of this conversation essentially is we need to be ready to grab whatever they do and because it will be a Google collab of some sort and kind of immediate, I mean, as, as at the right point in time, we, we put it out and now people see that, oh, their work is on GitHub repo because this is one of the pieces that were missing before always, right? It's people who are contributing to GitHub repos. Oh, they saw this ownership, right? This was their commit that was merged to repo, right? But then, uh, the teams that were having those processes in place, like TaskGeo or TaskVT, they, they were actually following the same route. Then when you have like this pull request kind of backlog of it, they kind of losing that ownership of, of their contribution and they lose momentum, right? This motivation goes down. So now we, our goal is not to do this. First of all, we have less people, etc. over here, but the idea is to for, for us to tell, oh, Google Collab, Great job, guys. Now we have another team, essentially. But in our case, it's a few people. Hey, guys, we have a call with epidemiologist. I'll, I'll have to jump off. Oh, okay. Uh, but let's, uh, let's continue discussion in the team literature review NLP. And maybe, Emmanuel, you have some questions that you can ask in there. And then we'll ping Alex and we'll, yeah. we'll start the, the ball rolling. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah, sounds good. I will have I will finish having a look at uh, at everything and put my questions on the team re team uh, literature review. You told me, yeah, channel. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I will I will put them there. All right. So sounds later good. today, I, I will check up with Alex and I will tell him about like what what's happened here. And again, we'll have more conversation. Awesome. All right. Okay.